Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Dylan and in this video I'm going to show you how to work with multiple sized video clips in Premiere Pro. In Premiere Pro I've imported these three different video clips uh, just to show you the sizes. There's a 4K, there's a 2.7K and there's a 1080p file. So often you're working with a project and you've got different cameras that you film the different resolutions. Okay, so let me show you what happens when you drag this into a timeline. Let's take the 4K one first. So we've set the sequence to this clip. So now we take the 2.7K file and the 1080p file. So you can see the 1080p is much smaller than the 2.7K and then the 4K is the full size. Either what you could do, you could go into this clip, click edit and then scale it up and then do the same with the other clip. Or you would set the sequence to be the, the size of the smallest clip, which in this case would be 1080p. Uh, you would change this to 192010. And now you've set it to this one, and then you'd have to go to the ones that are bigger than it and scale those back down again. And then like that. So that can be a big mission if you have a lot of clips. So this is how you can do it in a much easier way. So what you'd want to do first is think of what size you want the frame to be. Do you want to scale the smaller, the smaller resolution shots up or do you want to scale the bigger ones down? So let's just for this example, scale everything up to 4K. So I'm going to drag the 4K one to a new timeline. Up at the top left, we go to Premiere Pro and then Preferences and Media. And then we're going to change this where it says default media scaling and we're going to change that to set to frame size. So now when you go into the clip and you take the 1080p file and you drag it in, it will automatically scale it up. So this will work both way around. Let's begin a new sequence with the 1080p file, which is this one. Now we drag in the 4k clip. So this would normally be too big, but you can see it's already gone and scaled it to 50. Cool, so that's the tip for today. Super helpful if you're working with a lot of different resolutions and helps just to quickly scale them up or scale them down to your sequence size. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.